Be warned and beware, because many of the adorable beings you are saying ah to can actually be dangerous enough to even kill you. Be it the cute frogs or the little red pandas, finger monkeys or sugar gliders, here's a list of cute animals that can kill you. So let's begin. Red Panda The super shy, super cute red pandas are on top of today's list. We can call them an introverted animal as they generally avoid human contact when out there in the wild. But when raised with humans, they can make very good pets, as long as they don't get angry, as they've been spotted once stripping a whole deer together. So just try not to get on the bad side of them and you and the little panda will be living a nice life together. They love snow, playing with toys, and doing other silly things. Now let's get ready for today's open discussion. This picture is slightly photoshopped but upon researching on the internet, we found out the cute baby slow loris are what these small wide-eyed primates are called. Found in the forests of South and Southeast Asia, they might look cute to you, but let me give you a warning. You need to think twice before snuggling up to one. They might look harmless and fluffy and super adorable, but they can give you a nasty bite with venom strong enough to make flesh rot in minutes. The slow loris are viciously territorial animals who use their venomous bites as a weapon of choice. Finger Monkey The smallest in size, the finger monkeys are the cutest yet exotic pets which people have started taking in. However, it's not just being adorable that they're good at. These little beings are known for being aggressive too. And although they haven't, does not mean that they will not kill you. It's okay to get them as a pet because they're super adorable, but take care when taking them home especially near children, as these 5-inch little beings can bore their sharp teeth in you if they get angry. Wombats The wild animal which almost resembles a teddy bear, however you just cannot go with its cuddly appearance, and no you should not think of getting them as pets because they cannot be tamed. They are dangerous, yes, but this is not the only reason we're trying to stop you from getting one. There are other reasons as well. For instance, they produce a hundred pieces of poop every day. And well, there's a chance that you might die of the smell if not of the animal itself. And they do this too. And they're animals not really meant to be caged or trapped, so if you try to hold them in, they'll not think twice before biting you. Fennec Fox I know it's hard to resist those cute, innocent looking eyes and those big, big ears, but hey, they're not cuddly mini dogs at all. Even though a lot of people keep them as pets and enjoy them running here and there in the house, stopping every now and then just like a cute little puppy, this is not the truth. These foxes do not like being handled or being cuddled with, and they might bite you hard if you try getting into their no-no space. They're usually okay unless humans try to give them extra care, which of course they do not need. Sugar Gliders A lot of space, a very, very dark environment and specialized vets are just some of the needs of these sugar gliders. And this does not end here. When you bring one in your home as a pet, you bring risks with it too. They are not just chances, they will bite you. And you need to know that their teeth are very sharp and can cause a lot of harm, and they can carry diseases with them too. So yes, if they decide to, they can actually kill you. Other than that, they're cool. I mean, what's better than a little cute flying bat which will come flying toward you every time you ask it to. Margay Cats The carnivore cat, not suitable at all for keeping in captivity, but not any less cute than other animals. Those big eyes with beige fur and black and gold rosettes plus dark strips is what makes this cat a sight to behold. And seeing the wild beauty, people have been thinking of getting these as pets, but you need not be fooled by the appearance. This cat is meant to be out there in the wild, as bringing it home will also bring great risks to the caretaker and its family. Not only can they attack, but also transmit many diseases to humans. Apart from that, indeed the cutest animal I've ever seen. Polar Bears They say polar bears look cute to us because they have features humans find visibly attractive. But I'd say it isn't just the appearance, but the bears doing cute and silly things is what got me. Like look at this one, he looks like he's having the time of his life. And another one, having fun with a man. They just love snow. So they're cute, but they're very deadly too. 
and I think we all know that pretty well. Even though they're not inherently vicious, they are just so big that they see us as food and won't be stopping if they're hungry, and you're all they can spot. It's just better to enjoy them having fun from afar. Panda These guys are so cute and so adorable that we humans usually forget they're bears too. And as clumsy and lovable they might seem, does not mean that they're not able to attack. By the way, talking about the cuteness of pandas, I love how they're so involved in just themselves that they don't seem to care about their surroundings at all. And this is the reason I guess we love them so much. They usually stick to bamboo, but that's just their diet. When feeling threatened or under attack, they are all so willing to anyone they can, and they will bite until you're not a danger to them anymore. Orcas I can make a whole separate video on how adorably cute yet dangerous these creatures are. Literally called the killer machine of the water and killer whales, orcas should have been at the top of our list. They are known to be the most intelligent mammals in the water, and one or two of them in captivity are learning to speak, too. Wiki, the orca has learned to say hello, hello. and bye bye, just like us humans. I wonder what else they can do that we don't know about. They're so smart and so dangerous that when they get on hunting, other predators try staying as far away as they can. They are, however, pretty friendly toward humans. For instance, look at this one, trying to play with a man. But them not normally attacking humans does not mean that they will not ever. So stay away and stay safe. Swans All in for attacking humans, swans are one of the most aggressive animals on Earth. With a wingspan of around 7 feet, they are huge enough to attack you and harm you, especially when you try going near a swan nest. In 2012, there was a case where one of two swans drowned a man when it got too close to them. Other than that, they're beautiful creatures and the largest member of the duck and the goose family, and are known as a symbol of love among people. Tasmanian Devil You might be wondering what's with the name, right? Well, you might call them the sweetest and the most shy devil to ever exist. Yes, this is exactly what these little creatures are like. They're not dangerous, unless they feel like you're attacking them or trying to trap them. They have a reputation for being aggressive, and this is exactly why they are in our list. Cutely dangerous is what they're like, as they have strong jaws and a powerful enough bite to even cut through a metal trap, and if needed, they're capable enough to run for an hour straight at the speed of 12 miles per hour. So if you don't listen to what we are continuously telling you here and still go trying to pet the devil, good luck with it man, because it won't be letting you escape without a bite. Elephants Don't think I need to say a lot. They're cute, we all know. And they're dangerous, we all know that too. The super cuddly creatures who are very, very friendly toward humans, unless of course they feel threatened, as when they do, they're not going to hesitate before squashing you under their heavy weight. Poison Dart Frog Might be the last, but doesn't mean it's going to be any less cute or any less dangerous than others. The Poison Dart Frog are one of the most toxic animals on Earth. A single frog, which is hardly two inches, has enough toxin to kill ten grown men. Can it kill you? Well, yes. But will it kill you? Depends. If you stay away, you might live. As the appearance of the frog is kind of a lure to attract not just insects, but sometimes humans too, who think that they've spotted a cute little thingy and get too close to it. They come in different colors and two big eyes, which act as an addition to their already beautiful facade. And this is it for today guys, thank you very much for watching the video, do like and share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.